What's up guys, welcome to Driven Daily. Today, I'm just gonna shoot a quick vid. I'm doing spark plugs on my wife's Yaris. They recommend you change them every 100,000 miles, but I don't really like to wait that long. So I'm gonna them change them right quick. Uh, the tools you'll need, you know, ratchet, 10 mover socket. And you're gonna take off this little plastic cover. They recommend you run platinum plugs or iridium plugs. Uh, they sell the Denzos at the dealer, but I prefer to run NGK because it is a Japanese car. And to me, I've always had luck with NGK. And one important thing to always remember is that when you're running platinum or iridium plugs, you don't need to gap them. If you try gapping them, you're gonna run into issues. Once you mess up the tip of the plug, it's not gonna fire properly, or you just ruin the plug completely. Sit on be four nuts on here. It's just little 10 millimeters, they're not hard to get off. You don't have to torque them down real hard when you put them back on either. I haven't cleaned up under the hood in a little bit. I usually do it every two months. I like to keep everything clean so I can see if there's ever a leak or where it's leaking from. I'm just gonna this bolt just off the cover. And on top of the motor, you're gonna see the coil packs. Should be four, it's four cylinder. Those should also be 10 millimeter nuts as well, or bolts. And loosen up all four of them. I like to change one plug at a time. So this is what I'll be doing. Or this is how I'm going to do it. Take it off, inspect it, make sure the boot's not broken or anything like that. Make sure everything's plugged in. Nice and tight when you put it back together. Then the next thing you'll need, you'll need a 5.8 socket. Uh, for spark plugs, I like to use the one that's got the little rubber inside. It helps you pull the spark plug out once you get it loosened all the way. And that's what the plugs look like. Come on, focus. That's what the plugs look like after about 70,000 miles. It's not horrible, but I'm pretty sure you guys can see that gap right there. The next thing you're gonna do you spark plugs out a little box, of course. And very important thing, always remember, don't just take your plugs and just stick them in there and just drop them. You can damage the tip of it, you can close up the gap. So many things can go wrong with that. They recommend you torque the spark plug down to about 15 foot pounds. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm getting the torque wrench ready. I 
Also, one more thing I forgot to mention is I always recommend that if you're when you put plugs in to go ahead and add any seeds because it came from ever being hard to get out. Put pounds. And like I said earlier, with these little bolts. It doesn't, you don't have to torque them down real crazy. Just make sure they're nice and snug. back down in there same process and repeat that for the last two you done putting all your spark plugs back in and torque them down to 15 foot pounds you want to go ahead and put your bolts back into your coil packs and snug them down. They don't have to be torqued with a specific torque. They just gotta be snug. These don't have a specific torque either. Just snug them down. And after you get done putting everything back together, if you want to make sure that what you've done is done properly, you can go ahead and crank it up. And that's all you have to do to change spark plugs on a 2007 Toyota Yaris. Thanks for watching.